Ever wondered how to use microtones to spice up your jazz harmonies? Totally. I thought I was the only one thinking about that. Then let's dive right into it. The rabbit hole goes really deep on this one. Here between the lines. Welcome to our new mini-series about microtonal harmony. This is the first of five episodes focusing entirely on 31-tone equal temperament. Before we start dissecting the octave into ever smaller pieces and throw about crazy terms, it is important and frankly inevitable to talk about and listen to sound itself. Different instruments can produce the same pitch, but they all sound different. Each instrument's timbre is determined by, for example, the materials out of which it's built, not to mention the performer playing it. So every instrument comes with individual features that mold and shape its sound. Let's just demonstrate it visually. A sound wave looks a bit like this. The amount of ups and downs per second are measured in hertz. The higher the hertz count, the higher the pitch. An integral part of music is the relationship between different pitches. If the sound waves of two sounds are identical, they will sound in unison. The further they grow apart, the more you hear the difference. This often sounds pretty odd but there are some differences that humans seem to prefer. Now the faster wave shares half of its peaks with the slower one. In musical terms, this doubling of a frequency is called an octave. If it's tripled, it will be a fifth on top of the octave. If it's four times as fast, it will be... Are you f***ing kidding me? Okay, you get the idea. Multiples of each frequency are important. These are the so-called overtones. And since there are multiples of each other, they are always there. Here is what an overtone series sounds like. The reason why we don't tend to hear them is because they're so quiet in comparison to the fundamental. Check this out. The whistle-like sound is the overtone that doesn't get filtered out by the shapes that Freddie's making with his mouth. There is the overtone series again. Each vowel has its unique sound because different overtones get filtered out. That's why he goes back and forth between two vowels. Alright, alright. At this point you are probably wondering why those nerds are talking about overtone singing. You wanted to learn something about microtonal jazz harmonies to impress your friends. Hang in there, we are getting there. Yes. Grab your preferred instrument and try to play along with the overtones. Here's your sheet. Did you notice anything? In the beginning you were probably very much in tune with the overtones, but the further the series went, the more you were out of tune or had to readjust your intonation, right? The reason for that is that the most common temperament system, 12th head, is only using approximations of the overtones. The only interval that is a complete match is the octave. And from there on, things go south. What we are trying to say is that you have been playing out of tune your entire life. Or you've already made use of microtones, detuning 12th head to better fit the overtone series. The point is that the regular system that is mostly and commonly used in the Western world is only a compromise. It tries to sound in tune and split the octave into 12 equal pieces. And here we go. Why split it into 12? There are enough things already that are split into 12. Here you can see how 12th head matches with some intervals and does not with others. Conceivably, we could just split the octave into so many pieces that we reach a point where the human ear cannot hear the difference anymore. This would be at around 5 cents. A western semitone is 100 cents. Therefore, the octave comprises 1200 cents. If the octave is divided into 5 cent steps, we'd end up with a staggering 240 notes per octave. I mean, just imagine. Yeah, good luck actually playing that. We're looking for a compromise. I mean, 12th head is a compromise, and a very good and successful one at that. But there are so many others. In our opinion, a system with 31 notes per octave meets the requirements of being both very close to most lower limit overtones, 
but also still being playable, with some practice. But don't take our word for it, do check out other TED systems as well. There's a lot to discover. Right. From now on we'll stay with N31 TED, but many of the following thoughts can be transferred to other TED systems, even 12 TED. Before we start exploring the sounds of 31 TED, it needs to be stated that it has, more or less, been around for quite a while. It was actually used in Europe. Yes, you might have heard that, for example, Middle Eastern music makes use of microtones. But European music also has an interesting history of tuning. There's this tuning system called quarter comma mean tone that used to be quite in vogue. The idea was to flatten the fifths by a tiny bit, a quarter of a syntonic comma, and get better thirds, which worked like a charm until you start modulating and realize that there's a gaping hole preventing your circle of fists from closing. In case you're still thinking that 31 TED sounds either weird and experimental or old and medieval, here's how we think of it. We collected some links of examples and attached them to this video. In the next four videos, we're going to have to use some jargon that you're probably not yet familiar with. Most importantly, the new accidentals, flarp, shed, fries, and hard. And in the next episode, we'll be covering chords in 31TED. Do check out our channel where we dive into other micro topics.